Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I have an exciting update and this is going to be for my Level Up Project Pan. If you haven't seen this Project Pan before, it was created by Sophie Alexandra and it's about leveling up the usage that you get on each palette. So for example, now that I'll be on level 3, I will have to randomly select a palette. I use the Tiny Decisions app and then whichever palette comes up on the app, I will have to keep that palette, use each eyeshadow from the palette three times and then keep three pans from the same eyeshadow palette. That's the idea of the project pan and of course the goal is to use your collection as much as you can and hit pan on eyeshadows but rotating them often. I'll be doing this project up to level five and then reset it and every December I will restart it, it doesn't matter the level that I'm at. So if you want to see this update, the past one that I did, I did super recently. It only took me, I think, a week and a half to reach this goal. And I'm so excited that I reached it. It didn't take me that many uses from each eyeshadow. I hit piano on both shades today because I was creating this eye look. But I didn't think I was going to hit piano on them this quickly. But it was the two shades that I chose for the palette. So if you want to see my update on my Level Up Project Pian and then also you want to see me pick up a new palette, then just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so for the palette that I have this time, it's the Huda Beauty Nude Medium Palette. And this one has nine eyeshadows and I already have Pian on three eyeshadows, so I wanted to keep panning two more and use each eyeshadow two times. I have the notes right here and I will do a close-up of the palette from when I started and then I will let you guys know how many times I use each eyeshadow. So for the first eyeshadow I used that three times, the second one I used it three times as well. Then the fourth one which already had pan I used that one twice. Then for number four since that's a gold and I don't use golds that often I used that one twice as well. It already had pan. Then Number five, it's the first pan that I hit on this project and I used that eyeshadow four times. These used to be one of my favorite shades to do all over my lid and now I don't like oranges that much on my eyelid, but I, I used it. I started to define my eyeliner with it. That's what I did today just to, I started creating like a line right here with a detailed brush and that's the way that I hit pan on it. So I used that four times and hit pan on it. Then for number six, I used that twice. Number seven, I, I used that twice. Number eight, I hit pan on that one. And I knew that I was gonna hit pan on that one. Tomorrow I was planning on doing a smoky eye with, with that eyeshadow in mind. And I used it four times to hit pan on it. Um, also you guys, keep in mind that I use detailed brushes to do my eyelids. And I, to do my eyes. I don't do this because I'm doing a project pan. I do this always and I even do it on my clients. I do use fluffy brushes that's the way i start my makeup or my eye eyeshadow but then when i'm doing the detail work which is most of the eyeshadow game and most of my eyeshadow usage i do it with detailed small brushes that's what that's why the pants that you see on my eyeshadow palette are small and then for the last eyeshadow i use that one two times as well so i reach all of my goals on the palette and you will see a close-up of it but let me show it to you from far away. These are the two new pans, and now this eyeshadow palette has pan in every single metallic shade and one of the mattes. So from nine shades, I have five pans and four are left without a pan. I don't think this eyeshadow palette will not see more love in my collection. This is one of those that I can carry on my kit. It's not the perfect formula, but it's a good formula to carry on my kit. I sometimes do pink bridal eyeshadow. Some brides love a peachy or a pink uh, bridal look. And these palettes are amazing for that. And those mattes are perfect for bridals as well or for a mother of the bride and bridesmaid. Okay, so I don't want to waste any time. I just want to go to my Tiny Decisions app and choose the new palette. I have my app right here and now let's just roll. I'm hoping for a Natasha Denona palette. I always say this, but I have never gotten one. You guys, I think I even decluttered this palette. Let me see if I have it. It's the Iconic London Shimmer Palette. I'm pretty sure this was a gift from a friend, but I'm pretty sure that I decluttered this one. Yes, you guys, so I did I did declutter that one um, because it was a big eyeshadow palette, had only 
six shades and they were all, all shimmer they were huge pans i thought at first when i got it as a gift from my friend that it was a highlighter palette and then i realized that they were eyeshadows and i was never gonna reach for that palette because it had all shimmer so it's something that i have to remove from my uh, tiny decisions app but it's something that is no longer in my collection i have decluttered a few palettes but i thought i removed them all from these uh from this app so i will have to I will learn as I go, but I will screenshot it to make sure to erase it. Let's just do one more time. <laughs> okay, so I got my Natasha Denona Sunset Palette, and this one has pan already in a lot of the shades, but I, let me pull that one out and bring it right back. Okay, so this is the Sunset Palette, and this is what it looks like. Mine is getting like really awful because it's an oldie it's an oldie but it's a good one i have pan in this eyeshadow palette i have six pans on it you can see them right here so this row has pan this brown which is just beautiful has pan and then this one which is one of my favorite shades from my natasha denona collection also has pan and then um i would have to think about which eyeshadows <laughs> I will have pan in for my next update and I know that this will take me longer than the Huda Beauty and than the Rare Beauty one because a lot of the shades that are here are matte eyeshadows so I know it will take me longer to heat pan on them even though I've had heat pan in Natasha Denona eyeshadows before I don't think it's gonna be that easy I will keep track and it doesn't I don't mind having a big eyeshadow palette if it's from Natasha Denona I know I can use each eyeshadow three times and for me to be pan in three shades, I would say that it would be the shimmery shades because they're the quickest to hit pan on. If not, I would say this dark brown because those are shades that I use every day to do my liner or to just smoke out my wing. But this one already has pan. So yeah, I will have to, I'm gonna swatch it. I'm gonna do a close up of the palette and then you will see it how I started. And I will tell you the eyeshadows that are, are gonna be my focus shades. You guys, so for my focus shade, I'm gonna choose this one, this gold right here. It's called uh, Sundays. So this one, I think it's gonna be the easiest one to hit pan on. Then I'm gonna see if I can hit pan on either this color or this color as my deepening color or as my brown. I think this is the deepest of them all, but this is a creamy matte. This takes forever to hit pan on. And then I'm thinking um, the first shade of the palette would be another option because this is an easy eye look for me. But then when you come to the warmer shades like the golds and the oranges, it can take longer for me to use them. Maybe this one also can be one of the focus shades. So maybe I will hit, I know I will hit pan in the gold and then I will try to hit pan on this one and this one. But these two are gonna be like my side focus um, eyeshadows. And I can use it to set my eyelid and see how far I can get it. But for three uses and three pans, I know that it's doable. You can see the swatches right here. This is a beautiful palette. I'm happy that I finally got a Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. And this one, since it has six pans already, I would get it to nine pans and that would be awesome. I think this, will gonna, this is going to take me about two months. That's what I'm thinking it will take me. The Huda Beauty eyeshadows, I've hit pan in the past, so I know they're quicker. But the Natasha Denona eyeshadow, eyeshadows, unless it's a color that I use on an everyday basis, it takes longer since they're pigmented, except for the gold shade. I know I will hit pan on that one quickly. So that's it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you are not bored with this project. I adore it. But I'm happy that I'm starting it again because so far I have three new pants in my collection this year that I didn't have before. So if you want to check out this project, remember to go and check Sophie Alexandra. I'm going to leave her channel link below as well as every single product that I mentioned on my video that is still available. On my lips today, I have the Married Baby um, Lightweight Lipstick and I adore my Married Lipsticks. If you want to see a review and swatches of all of the lip products from Married and everything from Married that I've used because I've been using the brand for about a, about a year, or year and a half. I have a review of those products as well on my channel so you can go and check that out. So thank you guys for watching. 
I hope you stay for more videos. I post luxury makeup videos every single week. I love you and I guess I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.